All right, welcome to Celtics Post Game Live. Tom Giles, Eddie, Scal. Let's get it. We're live at the Let's bottom. Let's get it, 2-0. Celtics with taking the 2 nothing series lead after the 105-98 win tonight over Dallas. And let's talk about what we saw in the second half there from the Celtics, Scal. I, I think it starts with Jason Tatum. He was aggressive in the first half, getting other people involved. Didn't shoot it well, stuck with it. He didn't get to 20 like I thought he would, but he got to 18, and he made big shots. But across the board, Holiday was big, White was big, Brown was big, Porzingis at times, Al Horver, everyone stepped up, but I really liked the way Tatum played in that second half. Yeah, I thought our, I thought our defense was, was on point late in the fourth quarter. Like, we did, we got the stops that we needed to get, but offensively, it was Drew Holiday at one point, it was Porzingis at one point, it was Tatum at one point, it was Brown at one point. This is what Brad Stevens put together. And so, he's not ex executive of the year on accident. He put together a great balanced basketball team where you look around the league, it's either top heavy or is dependent on one or two guys. You know what I mean? This team is balanced. And they're balanced in both ways, where they can get you on the offensive end and defensively, they're balanced as well. Yeah, let's get into that in the third quarter because, you know, Dallas coming right out of the locker room, got a couple quick buckets, but then Celtics really made it difficult for them in the third quarter. You know, that, that game was close around 63 and then you saw the Celtics just build it out to 75-63 when Dallas couldn't do anything offensively. Yeah, I mean, I think we, we, maybe we raised our level or maybe we were just consistent but you knew Luka wasn't going to be able to maintain the level that he played in the first half. And that third quarter, and we're so good and Eddie's mentioned this all year long we're just so good off a miss, off a block, off a steal and that's what we did, off a stop and we did all those things in the third quarter the crowd starts to go, the momentum starts to change, next thing you know we're hovering at that 10 point and we kept it there most of the game all the way to the end. You know, the, the one thing that I would say is that I love the fact that we didn't get a great whistle tonight. And everybody in the building can see it. I know you've seen it. I know you've seen it. I know I've seen it. But we didn't complain. Did you see Jason Tatum like in the regular season? Remember, he go complain to the refs. You see Jalen Brown maybe talk. You see other guys. Not one time I did not see guys. I seen Jason Tatum get a bad whistle one time. And he looked, he said, and he pointed over at the ref for like, that's the call you're going to make? All right, whatever. I'm moving forward. And to me, that's, that's the maturation. That's the focus. That's the attention to detail that I, nobody's knocking me out of my square. This is what I'm coming to bring, and I'm bringing it like this. I don't care what anybody else is doing. Let's talk about Drew Holiday because what a massive game he had. 26 points, 11 rebounds, Eddie. And we, we talked about at halftime, the way he was attacking the basket, the points in the paint, going baseline, getting easy buckets, but also the job he did defensively on Kyrie Irving throughout this game. I ain't even going to talk about this game. I'm going to talk about, you say at halftime, I'm going to talk about when I found out out that we traded for him. I was on a plane coming out here for media day, and when I heard about it, I screamed out. I was like, yeah! <laughs> Everybody looked at me like something was wrong with me. I was like, oh, we just traded for Drew Holiday. And in my mind, I was like, we have a great chance to win the championship if he brings exactly what he normally brings to any team. So I'm not surprised on what he does. All season long, he has been shortchanged right on the offensive end. No question. Right? We like, where, where is he at? Yeah. Be killing him. Yeah. But he played well defensively, you know, all NBA defense. But this is why he's here yeah. for these moments. He was big. I mean, he, he doesn't take a lot of threes, but when he gets them, they're like timely. Right. But he did a great job today. Great job of playing off Jason Tatum, cutting to the basket, spotting up. Like, he was always in the right location. He played that low dunker pretty tough. You see it right there. There's another cut to the basket. We can go on his defense, which was sensational as well. So I thought Holly Day, all this whole game and, and Eddie's right like you make a trade for him he if he's worth one or two wins in the finals just from his defense and what we saw today that's a lock up for us to win a championship was there a three bigger than the one he hit on the left wing no and, yeah, that, 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 that was the off. one right exactly that was a 99 okay uh, meanwhile the scout you brought up Jason Tatum right off the top of the show as well was one rebound shy of a triple double 18 points 12 assists nine rebounds what did you like about his game? 
He didn't force the issue when they were trying to take him away. If you watch in the first half when he's getting his assist, every time he drives, they're meeting him. He just made the right play. Second half, that defense lightens up, and then he took over. He had 13. Is that right? 13, 13 in, the, yeah. in the second half. And he didn't shoot the ball well. Tatum still has not had one of those nights where he's gonna had the have, you know an explosion night where he plays great offensively, scoring the ball. So that that we know that's coming. So we, we can get a win like this. Don't shoot the ball well for three quarters. Tatum six for 22. Did a great job of moving the ball. And we're in a good position moving forward in this series. You know what the scary thing about that? If Luca doesn't have a good game, they get blown out. Yep. If Kyrie doesn't have a solid game, they get blown out. We can have our stars not play particularly well, not shoot the ball. I'm not going to say play because Jason Tatum, let me say he this. He played well. He, I mean, he yeah. played a hell of a game yeah. tonight. I mean, his floor game, he had 12 assists and only had three turnovers. That's not a point guard. That's a, a guy that's known as a scorer that has those things. When you have that luxury of having your best score or your you, one of your best scores have 12 assists and only three turnovers and have the ball in his hands, make the right decision. It's such a big luxury and huge luxury for this team to have. Almost having a triple-double. I think he had a great, complete game. Did he score? But I did need him to get some money. Remember I was saying that at halftime. Yeah. Yeah. Five you points wasn't going to get it. Yeah, I mean, Dallas was eventually going to stop putting the guy there if he was picking you apart, but he was he was more aggressive in the second yeah, half. Yeah, he was, for sure. By the way, uh, Chris Hodge Porzingis, obviously, another solid game did leave late in that game, about midway through the fourth quarter, and uh, as soon as we hear anything on that, we'll give you all the information on it, but waiting to hear what Joe Mazzula has to say and uh, what, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, if we hear from Kristaps Sportsingis, but again, had uh, 12 points in 23 minutes in his second game back, but did look hobbled towards the end. But uh, right now, we're going to set it down on the floor. We got Abby Chin standing by with Peyton Pritchard. Peyton, I want to start with the buzzer beater. I know you've hit a lot of those, but what did it feel like? I live for him, so I took full advantage. Another stellar defensive performance for you guys held Dallas under 100 points. Luca to single digits in the second half. How did you guys do that? Uh, we, just, we just kept fighting all game, making things tough, trying to wear on them, and we pulled it out at the end, so it was a good win. As a fellow point guard, what do you think of the game that Jason Tatum played tonight? Oh, that's unbelievable. That's, that's a true winner right there. So that 12 assists, that's what we need. How underrated is Drew Holiday and what he means to this team? Uh, he's not underrated. He is he's all he's big time. I mean he's a real he's a champion and uh, he came to play today. What do you guys need to take on the road as you shift to Dallas? It's gonna take 48 minutes. So we gotta come out and fight and uh, try to pull pull this next one out. Peyton, thank you. Congrats. And Peyton Pritchard with that massive three at the end of the third quarter. Gave them all the energy going into the fourth. Celtics win at 105-98. Take the 2-0 series lead. Two wins away from Bay.